Welcome to one of the most unique opportunities in Richmond Hill. Westbrook to be exact, this gorgeous family home backing on a beautiful ravine in a highly sought after community. And we are zoned in the high demand St. Teresa High School. You've got to see this house. We're going to show you exactly why and tell you everything that you ought to know about this property. On this episode of our signature house tour. You must be wondering what type of home is this? Is this a semi, a townhouse, a detached? It's actually none of the above. It's not a townhome, it's just a link home. So if you look closely, everything in this home is detached. The only parts that's linked is the garage. This means you get the space and the width of a detached home, but you don't have that issue being in a townhouse with noisy neighbor because it's only attached in the garage. And the unique thing about these linked homes is that you have direct access to the backyard from the garage. So now this home is also considered to be Pado, the parcel of Thailand. So let's talk about what that's about. A Pado is still considered a freehold property. We have common elements and it's built on developed lands that is shared by other owners. And in many cases, a Pado property has lower taxes than a full freehold home. When we talk about common elements for these type of homes, laneways is one type of common element. And owners would pay a small Pado fee every month to maintain these common elements. This is much different than condo fees, okay, which are much higher because they have to maintain elevators, gyms, and swimming pool. Here we only have maybe garbage disposal, snow removal, and common elements like the laneway. Auto fees are much, much harder to rise compared to condo fees, which means your auto fee would be relatively stable over a long period of time. All right, let's dive into why this home is such a great opportunity at this price point. The home is only linked by the garage and therefore the interior feels almost like a detached home and the exterior is designed to give that same impression as well. But if you're looking for a detached home in this high demand area, you'd be looking between $1.8 million to $2 million. So if you want the width and depth this detached home has, but you want to keep your budget around the mid $1 million range, then this home will fit right in. And let me tell you, these homes are a rare opportunity. So if you're looking to move into this area, this highly sought after Richmond Hill area, this is the only home with this type of design. And there have only been one of these homes sold within the past year, meaning that these homes are to die for and have a very low turnover rate. Okay guys, we're gonna start the tour right here. And the first thing I noticed is not actually the space, but the beautiful hardwood color, along with the stairs and the iron picket. It's actually a really strong statement piece. It's really rustic and brings a lot of charm to the overall of the home. And right here is the living room. We have big windows, nine feet ceilings, a lot of natural light coming in. And this is the formal dining space. It can easily fit six to eight people. Now coming in the kitchen, the first thing I noticed is actually all the pantry space. You have a lot of cabinets here to store all your kitchen items. And then there's also a U-shaped countertop. So there's a lot of countertop space for all your cooking needs as well. Smooth ceiling with pot lights. And then here is a beautiful breakfast area that looks right into this gorgeous ravine. The backyard is definitely the highlight of this property. We have a big, large backyard that is interlocked, facing a peaceful, beautiful ravine, which is completely private, having one less neighbor looking into the home. And every morning, you can enjoy this beautiful view. And with the cherry on top, you have direct access to the backyard from the laneway through the garage to the backyard. And here we are in my favorite room of the house, this family room right here. Remember I mentioned that this home reminds me of homes in Lawrence Park and Rosedale? It's really because of the floor colors, the high ceiling, the beautiful fireplace. It brings out the charm and the layout really creates that heritage home feeling that invokes those memory of the mid-century homes. Before we go on the second floor, the garage is here. Just a few steps down with the powder room that services the garage and the closet for your convenience. The property is located along Gamble Road, just west of Young and 19th Avenue. Located in the center of a four-quadrant area consisting of the top Richmond Hill communities, Westbrook, 
Jefferson and Devonsley. The area is divided by the major Young and 19th Avenue intersection. We are only 5 minutes walk away from the FIFA bus station which runs north along Young Street through Aurora all the way up to Newmarket and southbound to Finch Station and Young and Finch. We are also very close to Bathurst Street which is only 3 minutes away and only 5 minutes away to Bayfield Avenue. We are 10 minutes away from both Highway 404 and Richmond Hill Go Station. All right, so we are now on the second floor. I'm starting off with the primary bedroom. So spacious, I love the floor. The color is beautiful. It's a big king size bed. Looking out the window, we see a beautiful ravine. I also wanna mention that we have a spacious closet and right over here, we have our master ensuite bathroom. A double sink, so convenient in the mornings. A large spacious jacuzzi, perfect for relaxing at the end of a long day, and a huge shower, which is always amazing. And coming through the hallway here, we have our laundry room, which is so convenient for everyone on the second floor to use. And moving on, we have our washroom on the second floor, super spacious here. And moving on here to the second bedroom, a very spacious bedroom. We have a huge window over here, lots of natural lighting. We can also fit a bed and a desk, which is rare these days because most rooms these days are so small, you can barely fit a desk, let alone a bed and a desk. All right, the last room, definitely my favorite room, and this is because of the bay window. You can read a book and hang out, sit on a ledge right beside the window, which is so cool. Also, so spacious, again, huge bed and desk. Trillium Woods Public School rated nine out of 10 on Fraser Institute is a 10 minute walk away. Father Henry Nguyen, CES, is a seven minute walk away. Two of the top ranked secondary schools in Ontario, the famous St. Teresa High School and Richmond Hill High School are both only a five minute walk away. St. Teresa High School is one of the reasons why this pocket of Westbrook is in such high demand. It also offers a gifted program and is ranked top 8% of secondary schools. Richmond Hill High School is top 6% of secondary schools. Lastly, the number one private school, Richland Academy, is just a nine minute walk away. Jefferson Square Mall and Upper Young Place with a good variety of restaurants, retail stores, and grocery stores are both only a five minute drive away. Richmond Heights Plaza with a newly opened huge grocery store, Fresh Pro Food Mart, is a six minutes drive away. TNT Supermarket, the popular go-to Asian supermarket, is a 13-minute drive away. Next, Hillcrest Mall is a 14-minute drive away. Okay, let's talk about Hillcrest Mall. This mall spans over 500,000 square feet with over 110 stores and is home to a large collection of popular fashion labels and brands such as HomeSense, H&M, Aritzia, Sephora, Gap, Lululemon, and everything you can possibly imagine. All right, so we are now in the basement area. It is pretty spacious for a basement. It really is. High ceilings, the width, depth, lots of space. Here, we have a little seating area. We can put a mini gym over here. As you see, the treadmill is over there with a little mirror. We can create our little fitness gym area over here. And over here, we have our bookshelf, perfect for if you like to read and have your own area to store all your movies and your books. And as we go through the hallways and into the second space in the basement, as you can see here, it is staged with a desk, so a little office area, as well as a bedroom. So you can do whatever you want with this area, whatever you like, like a playroom, a little coffee area, whatever your heart desires. Thank you so much for watching this episode of our signature house tour. If you want more information about this property or book your private showing, just click the link below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.